Okay, so let's play knight f6. Let's go with the kings in the defense. Okay, we also can think about uh, playing c5 in this position. But first, let's show castle. Now, obviously, it's playing uh, quite aggressive. So let's see, c5 takes, and we do need to take um, this pawn somehow. So first of all, let's play pawn d6. And if we're going to play c5, yeah, I think this is actually good for us. And we are ready to play uh, knight c6. Okay, and we need to put a lot of pressure on this position. Okay, so basically I guess his idea is takes takes and then exchange queen. So I think we can also take on d4 in order to try to open up this diagonal completely. Um, you can also try to play pawn c5. So we can try to pressure this pawn <coughs> using this diagonal, but we can try maybe go for some tricks. So basically let's continue. And again, if, if bishop to e3, I can take and this pawn is secured. Okay, so he's uh, trying to relieve himself from the pin. Uh, we can also throw in between the move uh, knight to g4. Okay, in case, for example, you go um, pawn d5, I can give a check and we can try to win the exchange. But we do need to resolve the, <coughs> the threat on this knight because if I'm going to lose this knight, I'm not going to benefit from it. Okay, and this bishop is defended by, uh, sorry, this knight is defended by this bishop. And, okay, so, basically, everything seems completely okay. Again, you can try maybe go for the pawn, the pawn push and then try to um, win this uh, pawn because he can take the, he can, uh, attack the knight and then win this pawn. So let's throw this move uh, rook e8. And now we can even maybe consider playing e5 because this knight also can help us pressure in the center. Um, also a small maneuver of the bishop to d7 to keep everything intact. Okay, so basically it's trying to go for the same, uh, same deal. And I guess maybe even bishop to b3 in this position can be strong. So let's not allow that. And again, I do want to play e5. I think I'm ready for, uh, for playing e5. Okay, so let's calculate e5. Takes, 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 takes. Okay, and you can even draw in between the move in h3. So we push, we fall back, takes, takes. And yeah, we, we are in uh, some problems. So playing h6 also take away <coughs> an important square for the, for the line. So let's improve the position before committing. Okay, this, I, I can understand why I playing this move, but I don't think it's uh, really so strong. So let's go for it. And again, if he's going to attack the knight, I'm going to try to pin his queen to one of those pawns. So we can even go for it between moves, because as you see, uh, this bishop is also guarding uh, this rook. Those rooks are guarding each other, so our position is completely safe. Now, the question is, if, if in this position I'm going to take with this knight, he can play h3. Now we can even jump to d3, have a very nice fork, collect one of those pieces and fall back. But the main issue is that he's got some pressure on my position. So I don't really want to allow that. And I don't really want to allow uh, d5. Yeah. Um, okay, so I guess a more natural move is e5. And also the role of, of this knight is to protect F, um, F7 from any ideas that he's got. 
and it seems like my position is good but we, we do need to resolve the, the pressure that is got on my position so basically also you can try to grab a pawn and i don't really want to allow that um, <clears throat> because this pawn is pinned so we need to take care of that so how can we deal with that i guess bishop to e6 makes a lot of sense and also this knight is guarded by this bishop so i'm not in a worry uh, also a natural move is maybe later uh, rook d8 and try to find a nice square for this uh, for this knight yeah, so basically this move uh, is not really doing much and i don't really want to get myself pinned so even a move like c6 makes sense this is also a nice move. And in case of an exchange, I can take with the queen. This is completely fine. And if I'm going to take and he's going to take with a pawn, I can play a6 in this position. And then we are resolving the pressure and we can move the rook to the center. Okay, and I still want to find a better square for this, big, uh, for, uh, this knight. Because I'm not, no, I'm not really happy with this uh, placement of the knight. Maybe after a bishop exchange, we can also play knight d7 and knight to f6. Okay. Uh, also, take notice that uh, if I manage to uh, maneuver the knight to h5, this is come with the really, uh, really great attacking on this position. So <clears throat> let's reroute the knight. So we want to go knight to f6, knight to h5. Well, we're not going to win the exchange, of course, but I think uh, that uh, we can try to resolve the pressure that is got on my position. Let's continue with the game. And I'm not going to exchange yet. I'm going to <coughs> keep the pressure. We can always take with the queen, with the rook. And he's playing uh, really, really well. So no, for, uh, for now. Okay, and also, okay, so <clears throat> uh, he declined the trade, and I guess he will try maybe to <clears throat> um, to sacrifice the exchange. Now, if in this position I will play h6, and he takes, I take the queen. So he doesn't really have any ideas in this position, because also this bishop is blocking any checks. So I really like the idea of uh, forking those two pieces. It seems like a very strong deal. And we are ready to pick up the bishop and move the second rook to the center. Okay, we'll put some pressure on this knight. And <clears throat> maybe we can even try to pressure this rook in the future. And again, we do want to be careful from any, any sacrifice that is got on this, uh, on this diagonal, on this pawn. So, um, yeah, it seems like the natural move is to take, of course. Yeah, otherwise this knight is kind of misplaced. So let's take. And as you see, everything is, is uh, safe. Everything is completely okay. Um, so we do need to improve the position. Okay, so we can also play uh, rook d8. And as you see, this bishop is really guarding everything in this position. <clears throat> so even if it will try to uh, sacrifice the exchange, uh, everything is completely protected. So okay, so basically, he will try to maybe um, uh, win the exchange or win this bishop. So <clears throat> in this position, I can also go and play the move f5 so in case he's going to give a check i can take with the bishop with the uh, with the bishop okay so let's go aggressive let's go aggressive guys so we are playing f5 and we do need to be careful about this pawn because we we did create a we, we created weakness but for now everything is uh, completely fine we can even drop the bishop back if we need and then maybe try to put some more pressure on this queen and this diagonal. We can also slide this uh, king uh, to h7 to safety. 
in order to relieve um, uh, relieve uh, the pressure that it's got. Uh, also, a move like uh, rook to f8 seems like a nice idea because if he will try to do something, we can try to um, pin one of us, one of his pieces. Okay, and uh, basically I'm ready to play uh, king to h7. Okay, um, everything is intact, so the queen is also got in this bishop. Uh, also, if I'm going to take, it can maybe lock my uh, my bishop. So taking on a on a two going to be a blunder in this position. So don't really want to allow that. <clears throat> And in this position, we can also maybe slide the bishop back. Okay, so this is a blunder because now uh, we are going to win the exchange. Notice that you cannot take the bishop because the queen is guarding. So this is, seems like a very, very good idea for us. And slowly but carefully, but uh, it seems like we are doing, um, doing things right. <clears throat> okay, so he's playing in between moves. Um, I'm not really sure what's the idea because if he's going to take, I guess he will try to uh, give this check. Um, but again, he can find himself uh, getting pinned. Uh, so in this position, for example, we take, he can give us a check, we can even drop back, and it seems like everything is completely fine. Uh, so I don't really think it's working. Uh, we do need to be careful because we still want to win this rook, but if he's going to take, I can take the second rook maybe. Hmm. So let's, let's think about it. Take, takes, takes, so... No, I think I think this this is still winning. I mean, even taking. Okay, no, I think this this is not really going to work for him. I don't I don't think this is strong enough. So let's move back. And again, this bishop is also uh, pinned to to the bishop. So I think um, I don't think he's got something in this position. And I'm going to pick up one of those rooks anyway. So I think this uh, this knight maneuver to h5 was a huge blunder and it was a panic move um, and even though it's really tempting to take one of those rooks um, basically if i'm going to pick the knight i still got my pressure on um, on one of those rooks and i'm winning the exchange completely and also this is a blunder because now after that i take you cannot take with the bishop because i'm going to pick up the queen so it's not really working and uh, notice again that this doesn't really have any checks or any ideas or tactics. So basically, this is just a uh, complete losing. Okay, so GG will play it. And let's see the review of the game. Okay, so we played C, uh, C5 in this position, we increased the pressure. <clears throat> now, basically the engine doesn't really like that, uh, this maneuver of uh, knight uh, to G4, but uh, he's thinking about going for E5 uh, only, so... I guess we are still slightly better in this position. Okay, so taking with this knight was actually much better. Wow, this is this uh, line is completely crazy. Okay, anyway, so taking with, with this knight was better. I was uh, kind of afraid of h3, so I guess um, some lines you can just calculate a bit more. Okay, so now obviously you're going to put some pressure on this rook. Mm, okay, so a6, a6 was a6 was better. 
Okay, and obviously again we are still better in this position. Uh, and yeah, again, but taking in this position, I'm not sure if, if it's really going to work. I guess you can take and maybe try to resolve the pressure completely, but I mean, you, you still can get your bishop stuck in this position, so I don't really, I guess uh, I'm not really believing in this. Okay, this was obviously a blunder, <clears throat> so we are punishing white for uh, playing that. And yeah, knight to h5, uh, h5 was a great mistake, so uh, basically you can take the rook, you can take the knight, but it seems like the rooks uh, are not going anywhere. Okay, so we take, and again guys, in this position, black is completely winning. And yeah, e6 is not, all, uh, uh, e6 is not really going to work, because after takes, if he takes, I'm going to win the queen. So... Um, yeah, basically he's got nothing. So, yeah, this was a GG. A good play, a good play by my opponent, and see you on the next video, guys. Hope you.